I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're going to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R730 server. Specifically in this video we're going to show you how to rack your R730. Let's get going. All right, so we're going to go ahead and actually put the rails into the rack now. Uh, just to note, in case you're interested in watching this, we're not doing cable management in this. We're strictly just doing uh, how to actually rack it and put your rails in. Um, so what I'm going to do is I uh, have one of our techs back here to help us. Uh, so I like to um, just line everything up properly. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you get the right rail. We're starting on the right side. Uh, Angel, we're going to do 15 and 16. So let's go ahead and line this up. And then when you get to this point, there's uh, two pieces that will clip right in, and then this right here, you'll hear it click. So that clicks right into place, um, and it clicked in the back as well. If you want to remove it, this blue clip right here, you pull out, and this will come back out. Okay, so now it's back out. Now I'm going to put it back in since we're actually installing it. Okay, so that uh, it's really just that simple, um, and now the rails are, are physically in there. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll do the left side now. All right, so now we're going to do the left rail kit. So it says left, same thing. Uh, we're going to line it up in 15 and 16 again. So I'm going to hand it to our tech back here. Um, then I'm going to line this up. You have uh, the two notches that will go in. And then when I push this, you got it lined up on your side. All right, perfect. When I push this, you'll hear it click in. And it's in, just that simple. And we are good to actually install the uh, the server itself, but I do want to point out again, same blue clip, if you did want to remove it, just pop that out and this will come right back off. So I'm going to put it back in, uh, but it's just that simple. Um, just make sure you hear that click. Okay, so now we'll put the actual server in. All right, so now we're actually going to put our R730 into the rack and this is relatively simple. So we're just going to pull the rails out and you will notice that there are uh, several pieces within the rail that click into place so you'll see this uh, tab right here will actually come out so there's your inner rails here uh, within the outer rails um, and then you'll notice there's some uh, cutouts and that's where we're going to be putting rivets and there's four rivets here so uh, we're going to grab our R730 right now and so if you look at the uh, the side of this R730 uh, on the side right here uh, are the four rivets that I'm talking about and those are how you're going to line this up uh, with your uh, your rails, okay? So now we're going to go ahead and just line this up. Okay, your side all good? Yes, sir. All right, my side's all good. So you're going to push it back. You're going to hear it kind of click into place, all right? And then if you want to push this, uh, put this actually into the rack, this clip right here, if you push this, you will be able to actually slide your R730 and now you have a true rack mount. It's officially into your rack. Thanks for stopping by. If you guys are using R730s or really any Dell servers in your data center, uh, do us a favor. We'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Please email us at sales at cloudninjas.com. That's sales at cloudninjas.com. Thanks for stopping by.